upcoming fight. I know Spence, Cal Brook. Woo! Now that's the fight to get excited about. Yeah, man, I can tell. Um, everyone seems to think that Earl Spence is going to walk through him and, you know, bust him up because of um, Kel not wanting to take the fight originally. Um, but I think the fight's a 50-50 fight for sure because Kel, Kel, Kel Brook is definitely the, the best opponent that Earl Spence has faced. And I think a lot of people aren't taking that in consideration. Um, if I were to choose, I would definitely go with Earl slightly. But I think it's going to be the fight could go either way. And don't and don't and don't be surprised if if, if, if Kel, you know, wins the fight. Um, I, I'm really at us at, with this fight because Kel Brooks, the world champion. Earl Spence has already been crowned before he's even won the world championship. At this point, people are saying he's the best fighter in the welterweight division. Blah blah blah. It may be true, but until that is proven, I can't go that far. Earl Spence, Cal Brook. I like Earl. You like Earl? Yeah, I've been around him. You know, I was in London with him for the Olympics and, you know, in different camps and stuff. And, you know, he's the truth. He works hard. You know, he, he's hungry. Exactly. You know, and it ain't, it ain't that for no reason. So, um, he's young, but he's hungry, you know. So, I think um, he got a lot of momentum. So. Yeah, man, he's going to the middle, man. Okay. Um, you know what? Even though Kelbrook just lost to Triple G, but he had to move up in weight to fight Triple G, I'm picking Kelbrook. Um, Spence has been looking good. He looks good against Algieri and his last fight against Pundu. But in my opinion, I think um, Brooke is the more experienced guy. It's in his backyard. Um, and yeah, that he he's gonna take this fight. You get some home cooking? Uh, home, yeah. Yeah, you think you're gonna get some home cooking? You think you're gonna cheat Earl Spence? Oh, home cooking like that? Yeah. Oh, no. No, I thought you meant like after the fight. Like, come on, after the eat, fight. Eat home cooking because <laughs> it's backyard. Okay. Hey. Upcoming fight. Earl Spence or Cal Brook? Cal Brook, I think. Cal Brook? Earl Spence. Okay, you got Earl Spence too. All right, thank you, champ. <laughs> and I'm standing here with no other than the infamous, the legendary, oh, jazzy Jeff Mayweather. Oh, man, you could add one more thing to it. <laughs> uh, money hungry. <laughs> well, have, my, hungry. Have, have my payola on your ass ain't getting trained. <laughs> if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Jazzy Jeff okay, Mayweather. Me now. I like that. Great introduction. <laughs> Jeff, big time fight is finally signed. They've had the press conference. Who you who, who you taking? Uh, Kel Brook or Earl Spence? Well, I'm going with the truth, and that's Mr. Earl Spence. I think that um, I think he's the uh, the next coming of you know the the, the guy that's going to be the the best guy at welterweight. I think that you know the only person that I see that even really has a chance with him is um, a guy that's not even at welterweight yet, and that would be Terrence Crawford. That's the only fight that, I think that's gonna be a super fight one day. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Earl Spence, man. I, I don't think Kell Brook really wanna take it. I think he got a little doubt in his mind anyways, but uh, I think I, I think um, I think Earl just got, um, just, I, I think he's just a lot you know, stronger. He, you know, he's younger, he's more hungry, so I, I'm gonna give it to Earl. Yeah, man, he say he's strong and hungry, man. Yeah. Man, he ain't had no sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had, he had no belts. He had no belts yet, so you know he want, he want, he wants the bat. Yeah. Hear that? Yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, hey. Earl Spence, Cal Brook. Uh, Earl Spence for the reason that I think he's just fresher. I think he's sharper. I think he's stronger. Believe it or not, I think ring generalship. He actually may have more of than Kel Brook, even though on a professional level he hasn't been there. He's as, he's as seasoned as you can possibly be for that level. He, I think he's the future of that division. Earl Spence. Earl Spence, man. I like it. Earl Spence. Why? I think he got more skills than him, than uh, Kell Brook. Kell Brook, uh, if he could avoid the holding and all that, I think it's Errol Spence easy. 
Yeah. So, my decision. Maybe stoppage. TKO late. Maybe late stoppage. Late stoppage, early knockout. Who knows? Never know, man. Errol right. Spence, though. Errol Spence, yeah. Errol Spence. Thanks, champ. Let's I'll go with Errol Spence. Well, I'm biased, so that's my friend. That's his friend, man. But, you know, I do believe that he would beat him anyway if he wasn't my friend. I think, uh, I think, but I think that, um, Kerry Brook is a good fighter. Nice speed. He confident. But I just don't see him beating Earl. Earl, when a, when a fighter coming out of a certain peak and they believe it's their time, they just got it going for him, man. I think uh, Earl Spence got that. He got that it factor. He like he got the it factor, one of the new faces of boxing. Yeah. yeah and him just to, as soon as they come with the negotiation, him to quickly say, yeah, I'll go over there and fight him and show you something. A lot of young fighters, they wouldn't be so quick to jump and go fight in another country. He like, I don't care. I'm going to get my belt and I'm bringing it back. You hear that? God damn it. Okay. Thank you, champ. <laughs> Errol Spence, all the way. I'm happy for Errol Spence, you know. It's about time that he's becoming a world champion, so. Errol Spence by knockout. No more than eight. No more than eight rounds. No more no more than eight rounds, as he said. Yeah. All right. Thanks, champ. Good I think it's a good matchup. And, um, you give us a goddamn answer? Yeah, I'm giving you an answer. Okay. I mean, a lot of people here, you know, I think, uh, Errol Spence is going to get him easy, but I don't think that. I mean, I think Errol Spence ha has a lot of chance to win the fight, but it's not going to be an easy fight like people are saying, yeah. Because Brooks, Brooks is, you know, Brooks has been tested, you know, he's, a, he's experienced, he's a strong guy in the uh, waterweight. And this, this, is a, this is the first step, you know, very big step for Errol Spence, and I don't think it's going to be easy. I think it's going to be a very intriguing fight. Okay, who are you picking? Um, I give uh, I give uh, Springs uh, a little edge over over uh, Brooks, but at the same time, Brooks is a live underdog. Okay, man, we got a live underdog. Yeah. All right. Peace. Man. I got Spence. Spence knows how to cut off the ring. He could punch, and everybody thinks Spence ain't ready. But if you look at the competition Spence fought, he got him out of there in spectacular fashion. Um, what's his name? Bundu? He knocked Bundu out. He, Bundu won 12 rounds with Keith Thurman. Spence could fight. I got Spence. You got Spence, man. I got All Spence. All right, Jim. Appreciate it.